Thor News presents The End of the Empire of the Sun, asterisk. I got that title from an article talking about Voyager, Satellite 1 and 2, going like a boss deep into unknown, and I mean so unknown, science super doctored, papered, and accredited astronomers don't know what is coming next. You know? That is exciting to me. Thor, hi to you guys, my party people. I am back and no surprises. I'm talking about outer space and old school NASA, which is still going strong. The Voyager satellites, after 35 years, are still keeping on keeping on. Was that NASA's golden age? Who might ask? Man, but America used to know how to make stuff that doesn't break. Alas, WTF happened to those days. What we know and what we've been told, Voyager 1 is now beyond the bow shock. The magnetic fluff and at the edge of the solar system, there are no signs that proclaim you are now entering interstellar space. 11.5 billion miles, 35 years, closing in on a boundary scientists have been eagerly awaiting for a long, long time. They want it to become the first artificial object to leave the solar system and enter the wide reaches of the Milky Way, which they fully expected to. There has been at least one false alarm, you see, on Thursday. I think that was like a week or two ago. That's a Thursday, in case you didn't know. The Voyager still had not reached interstellar space, screwing up NASA's projections. It has been traveling at 38,000 miles per hour consistently. Wow. I wonder how fast we can shoot shit through space now, you think? By at least 200,000 miles? Somebody tweet the president. He should know. Well, Voyager has entered a region no one expected. Oh, really? Wow. I think you'll find that interstellar space is a lot like the whole galaxy and the entire universe. Really? Behaving in ways science does not expect. Voyage is a cool word. And it sounds really cool. And if the Fonz said it, it would sound really cool. It'd be like, Voyage. Oh my god, we're shook ever. So yeah, the Voyager has entered a curious zone that is certainly the last layer of our sun's empire. See, that's where I got the title. Technically speaking, the sun's empire, according to science, is the heliosphere. See, three papers published by official science detail the sudden and unpredicted changes encountered in the surroundings of Voyager Uno. Uno is Spanish for one. Science predicted two telltale signs. One of the events occurred but not the other. Yes, charged particles from solar wind faded out. No, the magnetic field did not change. Well, to me, maybe it's like I Heart Huckabees, and it's less a field and more just a big uniform blanket you can snuggle up with. It's like, it's like your it's like your whoopee. The universe is your whoopee, buddy. Yeah. Oh, sidebar: the Voyager's nuclear power lasts until 2020. The nature is far more imaginative than we are, said some scientist who tried to be a poet and failed by mixing his metaphors when discussing science and fact. To have an imagination, you have to have a conscious mind. They're making nature sound like God, which is weird for science to do. If science believes that nature has free will and a mind, that is news to me. According to NASA, <laughs> that's a hell of a thing to say. What? Momentary dip in the solar wind. Five days later, mid-August. Celestial gyros. Gyros? Gyros. Gyros. Celestial gyros attitude control. High gain antennas toward Earth. Uplink communications via 16 bits a second by radio isotope thermoelectric generators unexpected flow of ultraviolet from the upwind direction hey dude which direction is the sun going? What's that smell? I think I smell a whole new video. It's about me figuring out which direction the sun goes. And I, I kind of already know. It's headed toward Vega and Hercules. But that's something we should probably discuss. But on this whole Voyager getting past the magnetic fluff and into a boundary of space that neither man nor science nor Thor News can tell you what the deal is or what's going to happen next. That is exciting. So we will stay tuned to this interstellar soap opera and keep it on our radar. What do you say? High five over the internet, bro. Sounds good. All right. All right. All right. I think the sun's empire is probably going to last for a long, long time. A long, long way. Farther than the heliosphere. Farther than the bow shock. Farther than the terminal shock. Farther than the heliosheath. Farther than we'd imagine.